glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beloved, this is another day the Almighty Jehovah has given to us, his children all over the world. May his name be praised. May his name be adored. We magnify the name. And at the mention of the name, all knee bow. Father, we thank you for giving us a breath. It is you alone that have the power and the spirit of the living God. We went to our beds, but it is your power that you have raised us and we are still alive. May your name be praised in Jesus' name. This is the prayer that I have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ is in control. And the Spirit of the living God has given us a word. And his word is coming like a fire. So let us read the scripture. The message, the title is, Holy Spirit is our strength. Hallelujah. So we go to the scripture, and the scripture is taken from the book, or the act of the apostles in the Bible. And the verse is one. One eight. Let us hear the word of God. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria to all the end of the earth. Hallelujah. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Here he is telling us to witness about him because the whole world must hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit come upon us, it is a power. It is the Holy Spirit that helps us to witness to those who are in bondage that Satan has kept. And it is the Holy Spirit, let us know the truth. And the truth is about our God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is the Holy Spirit, when he is upon us, he strengthens us. It is the Holy Spirit that teaches the word of God with understanding. And the Holy Spirit helps us from our infirmity and our weakness. Holy Spirit, let us know the word and to go about because he is the power. Hallelujah. Beloved, without the Holy Spirit, you and I cannot make it, cannot witness because we were in a bondage in the satanic kingdom. But as we receive, or when we accept our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit come upon us so that we can know the truth. We give all the glory to the Holy Spirit. We continue. We turn our Bible to Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, and the verses 3, 14 to 19. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3, and the verse is 14 to 19. 
For this reason, I bow down my knee to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and and earth is named. Sixteen, that He would grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, 17, that Christ may dwell in you, that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that being rooted and grounded in love, 18, may he be able to comprehend with all the same, that with the width, the length, the depth and the height, 19, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Beloved, it is the Holy Spirit. When he come upon us, he give us the strength and we are filled, outpouring and, imp outpouring and outpouring. Spirit of the living God, he is our teacher. Spirit of the living God, our comforter. We need the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make it. Hallelujah. So the scripture that this is about the love of God in Philippians 3, 14 to 19, what we read. Because the Holy Spirit, he knows everything. What sin we have committed when we were in bondage. So we need the Spirit of God. Come and help us. Our helper, our teacher, our comforter. Oh, Spirit of the living God, we thank you. We magnify your name. You alone can help us to make this journey. Hallelujah. I would like to sing a song in three language. And the song goes like this. Oh, what's them, yeah, me do. Oh, what's them, yeah, me do. Oh, yeah, me, what's them, yeah, me do. Wanyinye wase miyamido, alleluia. Wase miyamido. Onyamie wase miyamido. Betu mi un, na mi un, akwe njine muodo fwe. O wase miyamido, yesuwe. Oh, what's them, Yamido? Oh, Yamia, what's them, Yamido? Spirit of the living God, if you don't help us, we cannot make this journey. It is you alone that have the power, that gives us the strength in our daily basis. And when we know you, it is a fellowship. So that you will help us, give us the utterance, and pray, and teach us the word. We need you, Spirit of the living God. We have to avail ourselves unto you. Only you alone is our guide, our, our director because you are in control. We thank you that with you, we can make it. Let us continue. We turn our Bibles to the same Ephesians 6 and the verse is 14 to 18. Let's hear the word of God. The 14 says, 
Hallelujah. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand the will of the, the devil. 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality, powers, against the rulers and darkness of his age, against spiritual powers of wickedness in heaven places. Beloved, the fight, we cannot make it without the Holy Spirit. All this, we read, the powers of darkness, the demons of Satan and his principality, they fight against us. So it is the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our guide, our director, the commander in chief that can help us to stand against these principality powers, dominion of the devil. Beloved, let us yield to the spirit of God because he is in control. We continue. 14 says, stand therefore, having the guilt on your waist with the truth, having put on the best plate of righteousness and having showed your feet with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fairy that of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and be watchful to the end, to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the sin. Hallelujah. Our Lord wants us to pray. He said, we have to put on our ways. And that is the truth about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that who believe in him and we will be saved. That is the truth about our God. Secondly, the next one is about righteousness. That is, we have to sanctify our body for almighty God, for our master's use, as he is holy and righteousness. Three, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached all over the world so that each and every one will hear the gospel. Hallelujah. The next one is about faith. It's to believe in Jesus Christ for you and I as our, our personal savior the one who has saved us from the satanic kingdom who died on the cross for you and I because of our sins. The helmet of salvation is the sword. That is the word of God that the spirit of God teaches us. Let us understand. And to read the scripture as a fellowship on daily basis. Lastly, it is to pray without season and with our supplication 
That could be a prayer of repentance, a prayer of sin, a prayer of unbelief, a prayer for family members, a prayer that is intercede for those who, that, who are not saved so that the souls will be won for our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our helper. Spirit of the living God, this morning, we thank you and thank you and thank you that when we avail ourselves, you can take us far and you can help us. We give you all the glory. So beloved, this is a moment that we have to change our thought and yield to the Holy Spirit. He is our friend. We thank God. We thank the Holy Spirit for the message like this. We need to repent from our ways as our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. We thank you. We magnify for giving us a message like this. May the Spirit of God bless the end time prophet, the one that he has ordained, so that he will carry the message for those who are ready to repent, for those who want to hear about the gospel, for those who want to follow the master Jesus. And also the listeners of prophet that listen to prophet Kenewu on daily basis. May you all be blessed for availing yourself that every day you are eager to hear from the end time prophet, the message that he has from God Almighty to you all. We give God the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for letting us this morning hear his word. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.